Hi there, Philip Oakford of State Agents again here with another new instruction. This time I'm in Sidley Road and welcome to the market, a three bedroom older style terrace property. Convenient location for access to the Eastbourne Seafront um, and other local amenities. So as we enter the property, we approach the entrance hall. Off the entrance hall, we've got a through living room stroke dining room. Um, back off the entrance hall, we've got the option there to make a downstairs cloakroom. Um, and then it leads nicely through into a spacious kitchen stroke dining room. We do have access that leads out onto the rear garden. Upstairs we've got three good sized bedrooms and a bathroom. As you see from the video, the property um, has been partly updated, um, really nicely um, done the work that has been finished, new doors, um, decorating, skirting boards, but also then it lends its scope um, for someone to come in and put their own stamp on the property. Kitchen is again, is a really lovely size, but it is a bit of a blank canvas for someone to come in and put their own layout, um, you need to have a look at the video to really appreciate it. Bathroom, there is a partition wall that could be taken down and making the bathroom slightly bigger as well. Like I say, the location is going to be one of the main selling features. Really short walk to the seafront. We've got the shops literally just down the road. Um, it's, just re it's going to be a, um, a sort of the property in a really nice location. Have a look at the video and if you'd like to give us, uh, obviously if you'd like to give us a call, we can arrange a viewing for you. So as we enter the property via the obscure double glazed front door, so entrance vestibule here. And then we've got panel glazed door leading through into the entrance hall. So you can see we've got the wood flooring, really nicely presented. We've got the radiator, got the stairs leading to the first floor landing. Door to the right there that leads through into the spacious through living room, dining room. Door leading through to the kitchen. And then we've got understairs storage cupboards, which could potentially then have as a downstairs cloakroom. So as we're leading to the spacious through living room dining room, this is certainly one of my favourite rooms in the property, just offers a real nice amount of space. So to the front, we've got the living area. Love the big square bay window there to the front. Again, let a lot of natural light into the property. Spinning back around, as you can see, is a really nice size. Got the feature log burner there. And then the dining area. Plenty of space for a nice sized dining room table and chairs. And then we've got the access out onto the garden. Then we lead into the kitchen. And again, this is under um, development. So as you can see, a lot of the work has been done. Um, it just needs someone to come in and put their own stamp on the property and their own ideas. We're having the rear extension and dining room table at the back really does lend itself to space. Space is double glazed sliding patio doors, got two Velux star windows there, let again a lot of natural light coming in. So there's many different layouts you can have with this property, obviously for the kitchen. Personally, I'd have a selection of units coming down that wall there, and even having a little breakfast bar coming along the middle there, and then you get all that space there for units. Absolutely perfect idea. So the breakfast bar, you can do that. You have your, your, your cooker, breakfast bars, the other side, make it a real entertaining space, perfect for a family or anyone that wants to um, or likes entertaining. The size is absolutely fantastic, though. So as we lead up the stairs to the first floor landing, access there to all three bedrooms, bathroom storage cupboard and then we've got the access to the loft it's just above me there bedroom number one really nice size plenty of space there for a double bed built-in floor to ceiling wardrobes there two double glazed windows there to the front two radiators Again, really good size. Bedroom number two, again, another good size double. Currently used as a single. Love all these doors, really nice doors throughout. Double glazed window there to the rear, radiator, and a little bit of a feature cupboard here. Bit of storage there for you. 
all nicely presented, nicely decorated, carpeted. And the last bedroom to show you is bedroom number three. Again, still a really nice sized room. So it's rear facing, so we've got the double glazed window there to the rear, the radiator, ample space. Good idea having a cabin bed or certainly a bunk bed, utilising the space underneath. And then we've still got the space there for wardrobes, chest of drawers. So leading into the, the bathroom, you'll see that it's fitted with a three-piece suite. So we've got a close cover WC, pedestal wash hand basin, panel enclosed bath there with telephone style mix attached and shower attachment. Again, halfway through um, improving and extending the bathroom. So there is actually a void from bedroom three here. So it can actually make the bathroom slightly bigger. So again, once they're a bit refurbed, take that wall down here and then making the bathroom slightly bigger. Again, really great idea. So leading out onto the garden, it's more L-shaped. Because of the rear extension, you've obviously lost a little bit of the garden. So coming out of the property here, got steps going down and the garden kind of sweeps round to the side. Now again, perfect for someone to come in and put their own stamp on the property. Personally, I'll probably have it all paved. Um, I'll have also a nice arch leading here that throws in, then goes into a, an additional garden. On the wall, I'd probably have a, some trellis with something to grow up. And then I'd also turn this area into a patio area. A um, little bench out here. And again, perfect for entertaining. So little bench this side, table and chairs situated there. You could even drop that drain down a bit to make it more level and then make it slightly bigger. Just a few ideas I'd like to give.